<laughs> yes. Hello, everybody. I'm Retro Zuki 81. You must not fall into an evil path. Martial arts are used to keep people alive. Don't forget that. <clears throat> I must avenge my father's murder. You still don't understand. Martial arts are used to protect people's lives. Suppose your father was murdered. What would you do? Right now, all you have on your mind is revenge. You will walk on the path of evil, too. Look, I don't need your help. Mm. I know how you feel, but, but it's too dangerous. I've made up my mind. What if something happens to you? I feel responsible. I hate to say it, but I feel like I'm letting your father down. My mind is made up. I must go. Nozomi, are you all right? It's not that. I just... I didn't want to be away from you. It's okay. okay. It's, it's all my fault. You are me. You are going after me. Why can't you just give up? up? Your father would not have wanted you to throw your life away in your defenses. I don't really have a family anymore. I don't want to lie to you. I'm planning to find the man who killed my father. My brother was right here. He sought revenge. And he was lost to the evil path. You must not succumb to the evil path. I will not forgive that evil. Be brave and stay calm. You need to make the right decision. Be brave. Stay calm or judge her. Judge yourself without consent. Not sure you Every day, without hesitation, <coughs> without hesitation, to do what is right. To act without hesitation, to do the right thing, even if I have to break the rule. You should not waste your life on me again. Believe me, I know, but I'm prepared to take the risk. Yes, and that's sort of acting. I'm not knowing exactly where or when or how to look into the camera. You see, that's without the right acting training because I never really had acting training. Rising has got to be the most. I never really had acting training. So, you know, when I look into the camera, even when I'm, uh, okay, let me give an example. Even when I'm trying to do, like, uh, the last previous videos, I was doing Shadow Step, or I was doing uh, Rising Flash, okay, you know. So, I was sort of looking into the camera at times. Now, that's because I'm not really trained, and I'm not working with a crew, you see. Let me give this uh, example, too. I'm not working with a with an acting crew here. There's no crew. There's no crew, so there's no support, there's no nothing going for Retro Rizuki 81. Uh, you know, uh, sometimes I kind of wish I was doing these moves in Japan, in Yokohama, in uh, Dobuita, I'm using my hands here, in Yokohama, in Dobuita, in Yokosuka, Japan, and Sakura Gokuoka Park of uh, Yamanose. These are all real spots, real life places in Japan. Now, let me give this uh, <clears throat> reference here too. I am aware, and you know, now I haven't had a very good quality life. I don't know where my royalties went to. Because, you see, if I would have had my royalties, I always had this Shenmue in me, everybody. I always had it in me to do these moves, and I always could do these moves. I always, I still have the talent in me to do, like, Mud Spider without running. I had the talent in me to do uh, Crawl Cyclone, whatever the right way is to do it. 
according to my karate federation that might be one of their moves too um i always had it in me to do these things i guess they might you know i don't know if there's let me give this uh i'm trying to i don't want to stay i don't want to get off subject here but okay i always had it in me to do these things now that's why i do post these things because i'm also a fan of shenmu I requested that my karate teacher would do this, have a Japanese oriented video game and make it about 3D uh, dimensional. Cause back in 1995, three dimensional graphics was a really big deal for some video games. And there's only a few video games with three dimensional graphics in 1995. Imagine that, ooh, okay. Now that's why I'm trying to give this emphasis I got this, you know, well, I don't want to complain too much, okay? But there's some people in the group, and they might be admins, high uppers. You got to understand, have maturity. Have some maturity, and I don't want to point out the names, but I'm really significant to Shenmue. Without me, there would be no Shenmue. And I'm not just a golden uh, statue here, okay? I don't want to give names, but you need to step down from your post, or you need to kick me out. Or whatever you're going to do. But this is the problem here. I'm really significant to Shenmue. And I was never credited in history. And I'll tell you that. But I don't want to exactly say what your name is. You might be in charge of the group. I have to ask James Rayner. But he doesn't talk to me. There you go. I ask him something. He won't respond usually. He sometimes responds to me. James Rayner. But he sometimes he doesn't. Okay. Now that's why i have some issue with my you know representation uh i have an llc everybody okay so now making it official i have an llc i've got some supporters around the world for retro Ruzuki 81 from england from ireland from canada from the united states i've got people found me all over the world okay i've got 528 or 29 subscribers whatever it is now okay so my claims, let me say this. There was nothing really written much in agreement for contracts that I would be this Shenmue guy, that he's American. And notice I'm not wearing the American patch uh, jacket because he's really American. Now, I don't want to get off on all these truths, but, uh, you know, this is what needs to come up. And I say this, I can go over, I can rehearse like a, like a you know, where I'm in kindergarten class. And that's calling people, the audience, not even fun of the audience, but it's just, I can go over this so many times, like lecturing all the time. If people don't want to believe me or value what I say, then it's, you know, what can I say? Because see, I was not, let me put the, some music on here. Here's stupid background noise. But excuse me. Not the right song. And I'm not a YouTube premium subscriber, so, you know, you're gonna hear background noises. You're gonna hear things. And I'm not living alone, so I'm living like uh, Bernie's son, or Bernie's whatever, Lomax son, whatever he is. I don't know what to call it. I've got my business and I'm not, you know, there's a tornado kick. Did Tom from Jamaica do this? I don't know a Tom from Jamaica. I just know I'm the guy that did the tornado kick. Let's go back to that tornado kick uh, soundtrack, Hip De Hop. Let's go back even further. Inherited, it's called Inherited Skills. And it's with the, the guy who looks like exactly like my teacher. And he don't want anyone knowing who he is, in my opinion. But, there he is, he parted ways, well he's, I don't, I don't want to make fun of this guy, but you know, this guy was an amazing teacher to me, an amazing person in a lot of ways, I have, I do have some respect for him still, but I don't know how much I can really bond or trust him sometimes nowadays, I think, because he never paid me over all these years, he never contacted me back. He never valued or respected what I did enough. 
And that's why there's problems. And if you ever wonder why Rihuzuki doesn't like carrots, there's a link. I can secretly tell people if I want to. See? See? But I don't just do that. I don't just give the link and give out this information. That, you know, I mean, I can. I know some, some information more about Shenmue. Why is Rizuki not like carrots? You know, carrots are, are, are like the same thing as ginger or cinnamon. In some people's minds, those are like synonyms. Ginger, carrots, uh, cinnamon. Okay. I don't know why, but they're, they're kind of all like the same thing. They're all red or orange. I'd rather shut my mouth. I'd rather get my money, uh, teacher, but I didn't get paid nothing. Well, why is Ryuzuki not like carrots? Maybe you got some, some kind of uh, beef there too with your carrots. I don't know. Maybe it's all good with you, but nobody paid me a dime or a penny. Not every single penny went to me. Nothing went to me. Well, I got ears. I better believe it. Okay. Here it is, Tom with the tornado kick. You notice that, okay, I want to give everybody this good example. I don't know if I can get that perfect form for the tornado kick. Like, if you play Shenmue 1 and Shenmue 2, you're going to see that Ryu Hazuki has perfect form and a whole lot more power and a whole lot more accuracy for the tornado kick. A whole lot more form, a whole lot more power, a whole lot more accuracy, a whole, whole lot better looking, whatever it is. How many numbers? This many. Okay? A whole lot of everything more for the Tornado Kick is in Shenmue 1 and 2. The reason for this is, those guys I train with, I'm telling you, and I, I'm not, you know, I'm just saying, okay, I'm thinking in other crazy terms here, but... This is what I want to emphasize. They did have these cameras. Now, I don't know where the secret footage of that is. I hope they don't destroy it. I hope hope to God, like it says, he made a rule that every day must go to church. Or hip hop the Jamaican dude named Tom, it says he made the rule that every day must go to church. And that's how they, you know, the accent they speak in Jamaica. So... There's spiritual people in Jamaica as well. And, you know, Christianity is, a, is like a universal religion for the world. So it says that on the hip de hop about the church, the line. You have to watch if you play Shenmue. This is not really like a video game that... Let me... let me. I want to explain something. This video game of Shenmue came from Republicans. Let me give this real truth again. This video game of Shenmue was sold from the Republican people, like churchgoer people, to secular, to democratic type people. And I want to say this about five times. This Shenmue was sold from Republicans to like democratic, secular type, type of people that with different values. Let me say it again, okay. This Shenmue was sold from Republicans to secular, democratic thinker and thinking type of people, like new age kind of people. They like this idea. But this came, this originated from Republican, from churchgoers. I'm like that in my youth. And I'm not really wanting to come out and say I'm like that sometimes. Okay? I'm not really wanting to come out and say that because... If this Shenmue is part of the the Democratic parties and the, the the secular part, you know, movements and crap like whatever, I'm not really want to say I'm I'm either I'm I'm like a I'm like in between I'm like independent I don't know where to to stand in Shenmue because what must have happened is my karate teacher and I know he's Republican and doesn't want nobody knowing nothing about him I don't even like saying his name but. He must have sold this somehow this to the Japanese and they collaborated with some secular democratic people. I don't know what they did. I don't know what the hell they did because they did something. And this is all my moves 
Now my moves, my legs, the, the form in that for the tornado kick is not the same. There's some other things that they had something, they, there's some little things going on with the Shenmue that, you know, I need to be compensated for one thing. Even if I'm not a primary actor as Ryuzuki in some kind of a Shenmue movie or a documentary that is universally known worldwide officially, even if that's not so, I need to be really compensated and recognized as this title in my history that I've achieved this accomplishment. That certificate is like a, it's like going to Willy Wonka's, uh, Willy Wonka's fat chocolate factory, okay? Uh, curry, bowl, carrots, whatever. Chocolate, Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. Everybody wants that golden ticket. So did those carrots in that, in that bowl. I don't like saying that, but we got something going on here, I think, that my teachers wants to protect and, and look out for something that I understand. But everybody wants that golden ticket. That was, there's an only, really, there's only one in my book because that's the problem. It went to everybody. Whatever I did and earned, the royalties, the copyrights, the money just spread out like, you know, butter, like, like bagel, bagel whipping cream or whatever. Whip it good. Whip it real good, whatever. I don't, I don't know what the, thinking of salt and pepper or some kind of 80s. Whip it good, whip it good, it's 80s. See, I don't you know. But this is the thing about this. This Shenmue was, uh, uh, this, is, this is like, I think my karate instructor had that Kanagawa Prefecture house made just for me. Something tells me that, cause I had this one user and I don't know, this is based on some speculation too. There was a house in Japan made just for me and there was things in the house just for me. And then people just came in there and ransacked it and robbed it and burned it down a few times. And they built it back up, then it built walls around it. That sounds so insane, literally. But I don't know what the real truth of this Shinmu is. You know, and I don't know if we'll ever know in history. It's got me like kind of bewildered. And I know it's like a crazy, crazy uh, thing to investigate. And for people to like put on the news, let me say this. They don't put everything on the news. No. You probably got other uh, significance of people's that, like take for instance, you ever watch Batman and you ever see the Joker, the movie, the Joker, you ever know that notice that the Wayne brothers in the, the Joker movie with uh, starring Joaquin Phoenix, what happens with when the, those Wayne brothers those three guys on the on the subway train, they start throwing French fries at this uh, at this one girl, okay. And deja vu somehow. I don't know. I was, you know, it's weird to me. It's weird to me because uh, you know, people like are are all alike sometimes, but it's not really deja vu to me. You know, I, I'm just saying like I don't know what the real story was of this. Okay, let me lie. let me get back on track. There's a movie. The guy, the Wayne brothers are throwing french fries. They're throwing french fries at this, you know, this, this girl reading a book or something, okay? Now, me, you can take, for instance, me. I'm, I, 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 I have this problem myself where I, I, I used to, sometimes I laugh for no reason. I laugh for no reason sometimes. And I had this science teacher that has an aggressive way of teaching. I don't know if he's still around anymore in, in Riverview Community High School. But I would laugh for some, for no reason. Even my, I had a, I had this doctor from Peru. I didn't understand the statues in her office, the psychiatrist, and I would laugh at those statues for no reason because I didn't understand those statues. They kind of scared me, those Peruvian statues. That's culture, and I shouldn't let that scare me, but I'm, I'm Mexican, I don't know, I don't understand it, I don't know. I'm more American, Mexican-American, but she had these statues that looked like aliens or something. They kind of freaked me out in her office. It's just a cultural thing. Anyways, the Joker's laughing. He's laughing like, before he's the Joker, he's this clown guy going to bring, going to gigs. 
And to a few of those gigs, he would actually take something he wasn't supposed to take in his, in his, you know, in his belongings. He would take a gun in his belongings, but the reason that they give out for that is because he's in a dangerous community. He's in a dangerous, it's not a community, it's a dangerous city. Bad community, bad city. So anyway, those Wayne brothers were throwing fries. They were picking on that, uh, that, 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 that girl, lady reading a book. They're about to mess with her. Then uh, Joaquin Phoenix, the Joker, he starts, he starts laughing. He's like, <laughs> he just starts laughing. They wonder why he's laughing. They go mess with him, the Wayne brothers. And then they go beat, they start messing with him. And then they, 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 they start, they get into it with him. And then they just start fighting with him. They start beating him up. They start hitting him, beating him down. What does he do on the subway? He pulls out his gun and starts shooting at them in self-defense. You see? Now, this is like a Republican standpoint. Why do we not want guns? Why do we want guns? Why do we not want guns? It's like the Republicans are better there. But, I mean, I can't help to say that you're not safe anywhere. And the Democrats don't, don't guarantee that. Now, I have some agreements with medicine you know, more better medicine and scientific research that it's more, you know, on the Democrats' side. And then I got some agreements about these gun laws, you know. But there's, there's two sides. Well, you might as well call me like, I don't know what kind of animal I'd be in in those parties. What, what am I, rhinoceros? In name only? See, I don't know. Call me what you will. But it's just, I don't even really take a standpoint in politics sometimes but maybe sometimes I should because it's the world's all about politics right now and global wars in the Middle East right now I know there's not like not such a movement about a Shenmue movie it's more about uh, the Middle East being at war and, and this and that uh, I'm more in this world you know Okay, so, you know, I'm saying like a lot of information, a lot for people to take in. You can watch this video a few times. These moves are all like familiar to me. I, and like I say, I've done these before. I've done them all before. I'll, I mean, I don't even know if I should be honest about one move because I think I can do it these days. That was Dark Moon. They, the guys just threw out a mat and say, here, do this move. One guy did it. He must have studied or trained with somebody that did it, one of the Dons. And then I didn't do Dark Moon at first. What I did it, what I did was another Kyokushin Karate move that Jin Kazama does. And that's still Kyokushin Karate. So Rolling Thunder, this other one that Jin does... We kick with a heel flipping on on your back or something. That's another Kyokushin Karate. They use that for, for Jin. They use both moves for Jin. But I just ended up doing the other one they, they use that's Kyokushin. Instead of Rolling Thunder or Dark Moon, a.k.a. I know so much about Shenmue that people don't really want to talk about. Or they just, just don't understand or know. And that's because I'm Retro Rizuki 81. Thank you.